Welcome to Micro Biz Matters, a seven-day podcast in the lead-up to Micro Biz Matters Day. Wow, can you believe it? We're getting so close to Micro Biz Matters Day now. It's, well, as I'm recording this, it's towards the end of the day on Tuesday, which means that officially we've got three days left to go, but it feels more like two. So I thought this would be an ideal time to talk to you about two other guests that are going to be joining us. One of those guests is Paul Uppel. Paul is the Small Business Commissioner, and he will be joining for three specific topics throughout the day, and I'll let Tony explain a bit more about those. We're also going to talk about Charlie Mullins. Charlie Mullins OBE is from Pimlico Plumbers and he has been supporting Microbiz Matters since the since its start. So Tina will be talking to us a little bit more about Charlie and when we can expect to hear from him on the day. So over to Tony. Thanks Deborah. We're delighted that uh... Paul Uppel, the uh, Small Business Commissioner, is joining us, and uh, he will um, appear three times during during the day on uh, uh, on YouTube in the Microbiz Matters session, which you've got there. The timing of that is from uh, quarter past one till quarter past two. Um, so uh, he'll he'll be on there with a, with a group of other people you know, of guests uh, on the Microbiz Matters because we are optimistic uh, that he does believe microbiz matters and that's that's very important. Um, secondly, um, around about 9.30, uh, I will be doing an interview with him on the stage that we've got in the main room. Um, and that will uh, be the time that we really crunch the policy issues regarding how we can get 7,500 large companies to st- certainly move towards paying 30 days, which I've been campaigning for for 22 years, and Tina and I have been campaigning for for the last seven years and really up to it. Uh, and we still have the situation where there's only 520 companies out of those 7,500 that pay in 30 days. And the majority offer um, take it or leave it uh, terms to everybody they um, uh, <clears throat> procure from uh, of 45 to 120 days. It's a pretty dismal situation at the moment, and that's one of the reasons why we're delighted that Paul, uh, Paul will, will be with us. Um, uh, and uh, he will also appear in uh, at um, 10.30 at... Um, the workshop that's being held by the Forum of Private Businesses on late payment on all these issues. Some of the people listening, Deborah, probably don't quite know what the Small Business Commissioner is and why it's so important to us as micro-business owners. Because although 5.5 million micro-business owners will rarely deal with these large companies that are adopting unfair payment practices and uh, take it or leave it terms, we will probably be supplying somebody way down somewhere that is supplying. Um, And it holds up the money to all of us. It means that something like 38 billion is available that isn't being released to micro business owners as a result of it being you know, log jammed, if you like, somewhere else because of the large companies' unfair practices. And um, so it's, it's really important. And the Forum of Private Businesses is, of course, a membership organization of small businesses. And so their members are very, very keen on this issue equally. So they're hosting this late payment workshop. And it's all about practical actions we can actually take as business owners to ensure that we don't get caught up in in the debts and the loans and the things that we need to do in order to get by because of this whole late payment problem. Because although Paul Uppel is doing fantastic work in fact in going to name and shame large corporations that are uh, uh, have got unfair practices. And he's done a great deal for the last resort, I call it, whereby 
he's raised an awful lot of money for people that just can't get paid by by a company and they can appeal to the small business commissioner and he'll take it on and they've recovered uh, maybe a million pound I think already in terms of monies that uh, would have been you know that are due to people that they've not been able to get paid and the small business commissioner gets on the job so the small business commissioner's role is is very much very important um, to actually uh, level the playing field and so those are three I think very very interesting discussions uh, but of course as always our star guest and I'll let Tina talk about him our star guest who we're very grateful to is our microbiz matters SAR Charlie Mullins OBE the Pim of Pimlico Plumbers and he will be on round about 10.50 to 11 o'clock for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So um, he'll be on YouTube at that time. I'll let Tina talk about how important Charlie is to us. Tina. Charlie's been a supporter of Microbiz Matters since the very first event that we did in 2015 in London. And um, he hosted um, the day uh, in 2017 um, from the Pimlico Plumbers head office. Now, unfortunately, it snowed in London that day, so it prevented all sorts of people from coming. You know, not the Northerners, because we're very used to snow, and the Northerners made it. They got on their big coats, and they came south. But the Southerners, oh, they couldn't move, couldn't a lot of them. So um, we were kept off the top tweeting slot, actually, that year by Snowmageddon. Um, and the fact that it was Friday the 13th. But anyway, so Charlie's been a huge um, supporter of ours and has joined us every year, um, whether live from his office or um, via Google Hangout, or he came to Portobello as well and did a recording did. there. So yeah, he's been a great supporter of ours. So Charlie will be joining us about 11 o'clock um, once we've got all the hookups working correctly. So yeah, we have the technology to um, get somebody to join you by Google Hangout on the YouTube live streaming, you have to send them a link and then you just hope that it all works from their end. Because that's the beauty of being a micro business or not, as the case may be. You don't have an IT department to deal with it for you. So you just have to get on and tinker, which can take quite a while. So yes, it's always, um, that's, all, that's always one of the hurdles. You always wonder whether the person at the other end is going to join you according to their knowledge and ability of how technology works. We move on to what you can see and where you can see it. And Tina also talks about some of the plans for the YouTube channel and how you can share anything that you might have recorded on the day that's relevant to Microbiz Matters. We do mention the B word. I use the word we, meaning Tina, and I have, as agreed with her, put a little bleep onto it. So if you hear the strange noise, you'll know that that's what that's all about. So anyway, here's a little bit more about how to share. We talk about needing some distractions, such as Enterprise Nation Startup 2019 and later in the year, Small Biz Saturday. And so over to Tina now. The one with the workshop with Paul, is that going to be broadcast as well or is that just for people at the event? A few extracts will okay. be so that... Um, so that we can we can get a you know a little bit of the flavour of it, but the workshops itself are um, primarily, if you like, for the people at the event. Um, uh, but we will give a bit of a flavour of them on on Facebook Live, if you like. But uh, but all of the issues dealt with in the work in in the workshops are actually either dealt with in Tina's. Uh, uh, sessions on on YouTube or or uh, in interviews I'm doing with the people participating in the workshops on Facebook Live. So nobody's actually missing any of the things that are important to Microbiz Matters. The thing is, um, as well, Deborah, that actually we say that they're not going to be um, recorded in whole in as a whole. But you just never know because we've had other events where people have turned up and done lots of different videos. Tina Fotherby, um, who, is who from Famous Publicity, she's been absolutely amazing. She's done so much PR for us. 
that she um, turns up with her video camera and does some really fabulous videos for us that um, <clears throat> we'll put out later on our YouTube channel. So it's really important that people subscribe to our YouTube channel at Microviz Matters because it's, and especially over the next 12 months, it's been something that we've been looking to do for a few years, but time and you know resource and everything. But over the next 12 months, we're certainly going to be using that as a space for people to be able to go and find information, extract, they they can find, you know, the people that they saw on um, social media previously. I can, they can watch that video that they've made and we'll help them. And then there may be other videos that people have made that we really like and we think give great advice and we're going to put them on playlists so that it's, it's actually a, a place that people can go and know that they can find information that will help them keep going. Because as we say, we're, we're all about the, we're beyond the startup, though we're there for the startup. We're there wh wherever you are in your micro business, but we're very keen to help the people that need to keep going because there's a lot of those. And um, I was listening to a very brief video that Paul Lancaster had put on Instagram this morning about um, not, getting, not getting hooked up on stuff that we can't, um, control and he'd been reading an article that said 112 hours um, of people's lives last year were spent discussing Brexit and it's like things like that actually at the moment are, are making people very nervous so they need something like Microbiz Matters Day like Startup 2019 that Enterprise Nation are doing like Small Business Saturday later in the year, all these things, little informal things that are going on in their communities, they need all of that to keep them going through these difficult times and for them to know that actually there are people out there who want to support them and who are also going through the same thing. And as you say, that sense of community and that knowing that other people are there going through the same thing as well as supporting you makes such a huge difference, doesn't it? Yeah, and actually, I said the B word. I'm really sorry. I was try we've been trying to avoid it. Now, I have. So, I'll, I'll just uh, I'll bleep however, it out or something. Yeah, yeah. Can we can we can we get a <laughs> and and do? But, we, but I think we're going to have to mention it. It will be mentioned on yeah. Friday, but we're certainly not dwelling on it. <laughs> I'm not mentioning it. Um, and and with the YouTube channel. So if somebody does take a video or if anybody's doing any sort of event um, themselves to support Microbiz Matters Day and videoing that, is there um, a way that you would prefer that they shared that with you? Would you rather that they just... Yeah, well, they can, they can put the, the hashtag Microbiz Matters in it um, and they can put that hashtag wherever they are, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube and we'll find it or alternatively they can send it to us you know tweet it to us or send it via social media or they can um email us so yeah um tina at tina com is probably the best one okay we try to keep all our emails as our individual ones because it becomes very confusing if you're running an event or doing something special for Microbiz Matters Day, make sure that you post about it on all the different social media platforms. Use the hashtag Microbiz Matters and the hashtag I gave 11 if that's what you're, you're posting about. And make sure that everybody knows what's going on. And I wanted to share with you an event that I know about, which is all about LinkedIn. So Linda Huckle is my next guest, and she will share with you an event that she's running on the 11th and she's looking for you to send her your questions on LinkedIn because she's looking for a list of 11 questions that she's going to answer live on the day. So let's hear a little bit more about this from Linda Huckle of Linda Huckle Training. because I'm doing something special for Microbiz Matters today. Uh, not today, on Friday, <laughs> on the 11th. Um, I'm doing uh, sort of, I've, I've just set up a new group. Mm -hmm. It's in Facebook, 
but it's going to be about LinkedIn. <laughs> it's just <laughs> because <laughs> Facebook groups are uh, better equipped to do the type of uh, hints and tips and live video that yes. you can't do in LinkedIn yet, although rumours are that that could be on the way. Um, so on Friday at one o'clock, I'm doing a, a question and answer session. Okay. And I have a list of 11 questions. Excellent. Or I'm building a list of 11 questions from the Facebook group, which is called LinkedIn Light Bulbs. Right. Which is, it's open to anybody to access, and I'll be live answering oh, the 11 questions. And then obviously I'll be following that up. Uh, it's not just about one day at the end of the day, but it it's isn't. nice that we've got this to kickstart the whatever's going on out there so that people can continue the work. Yes. Rather than doing it on, all on one day. That's it. It's building up the momentum throughout the year. of another episode of Microbiz Matters, a seven-day podcast. We'll be back again tomorrow with more guest appearances, more information from Tony and Tina. Don't forget to check out for what's happening by going to microbizmatters.co.uk. You can also find out more about the Small Business Commissioner by going to smallbusinesscommissioner.gov.uk. And um, I will be sharing links for Linda's LinkedIn light bulb group in case you'd like to join in with that. And again, if you've got questions on LinkedIn, send those through directly to Linda and she will see which are the top 11 that she's going to respond to on the um, Facebook Live that she's doing on Microbiz Matters Day. So looking forward to hearing of Paul Upple and Charlie Mullins, as well as hearing from the young entrepreneurs. And um, I look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow. Microbiz Matters, a seven-day podcast, is brought to you through Bridging Gaps, the business podcast. It's produced by Deborah Levitt of Bridge Road Consultants with original music from Dinely Penny Music and original artwork from Infinity Creative. You've been listening to Deborah Levitt on Microbiz Matters, a seven-day podcast part of Bridging Gaps, the business podcast.